so hello again so just been at uh went down to fuel fest at fuel coffee house this morning and uh down at gt4 play atlantic valley thing for a for a meet which is actually quite a good shower really took a little power down there so it's uh done a lot of driving today also had sam come down in his supra which is that sequential box and Samsonis RF90 dual engine, hype tune, 12 injector setup set of ID 1050s and 1700s 70, 76, 75 precision, sportsman, GT42 style that's good, quick car, like 1200 wheel runs on uh, leaded E85 race fuel basically all the time which is why the exhaust is white you can do that and there's basically nothing on your hand but little power done minimal stages popped to work because it was uh tapping a bit louder because it was quite warm and i thought i'd check the oil which it did need so i put some oil in it but i've just been down to a friend of mine's down in worthing or Lillehampton to pick up a set of let's pop the boot down split tailgate yeah boy. It's uh raised uh raised rock meshes. So they uh, thirteen six by thirteen one one four so I'll run adapters on them. I think the offset's like fifteen or so, sort of average. But I'll give them a I mean they're in pretty good shape considering really. Need to get some centre cats for them, screw on type. But they should look good, polish your lips up, glass of centres. Give them a give them a refurb so flashing light need to get parcel shelf for that so i can uh, attach it and just put it on like jdm fanboy but yeah they should uh they should look good done up on on the car don't know what color to do the centers yet i might stick with orange i can tell that uh gold they've already been painted once you can see the uh they've been painted on the lips they didn't do a very mark good masking job but yeah it should uh, should be good. I've also got a set of Almex 13s also coming from Japan at the moment, and they're very similar to these. So I thought I'll get these uh, and complete the set. So let's uh, give them a good going over and see what they look like. That one's got some of its sticker left. The other ones I think's got got more of its sticker. But yeah, it should look good. Get the. Uh, Got the auto stars off, even though the uh, auto stars they they look alright to be honest. They do suit it. They're twelves and twelves are cool, but it's quite low on the twelves, but especially at the tire profile and the speedo's massively out. So runs like five degrees, uh, five degrees, four, four, four and a half degrees negative camber on the front to pull it in the arches. Otherwise they stick out massively. But yeah, get some proper wheels on that. I've also I've sort of got the Almex coming over, got a pair of Hayashi Streets. That's at a Hayashi Racing Techno Speeds. They also need refurb, so give them a give them a going over and then put the put some adapters on this because this is 4x100, obviously it's a micro underneath K10. You've got some uh, got some new bolts for my adapters because all my thread sizes is normally MX5, so so I can bolt them on, I have to cut the studs down, get the adapters on it. But yeah, give them a refurb, get them on, order some tyres up. And then it look, might look a bit better. It will look lower as well, because I'll probably put a bigger tyre profile on it, which will uh, fill, fill the arch gap up a bit, because it looks a little bit of a 4x4 at the moment. Sort of. I can get at least two fingers in, which is not good enough. But, yeah. Give them a refurb and see how they come out i don't know what color to do centers maybe gold but then i'll put a set of red a3a's on this a little while back from feist feist landed me some wheels at split rims and they look awesome in red centers it's all very pastely so he's just done a set of ssr mark threes with pink centers and they look really cool i think they'll suit this amazingly but i don't know about on the mesh wait and see see how it goes but yeah all good little fun. Stay tuned for them. So this time I'm going to uh, give the wheels a blast. 
take the valves out. I've got a, at work, blasting cabinet, which is full of uh, lime glass and walnut shell. <clears throat> so I should take these back without doing real any damage to the lips at all, no pitting. And should take the faces back, but it's quite abrasive, so it should get most of it off quite nicely, and then I can uh, go from there. I did some researching on Kaiyoshi shoes the other day, and it turns out they're actually um, Ray's Volk 2s, so they're not meshes, which apparently they normally uh, get confused with, but they actually have a centerpiece that goes in that, covers all the lug holes up, and then it has a screw on cap so it looks like a center drive so I should be uh, looking out for some of them but I should imagine that's not the easiest thing to find these days they're probably late 70s maybe early 80s ish that's a guess it has got stickers on the back but the, uh, the can't see what they say so the dates I can't read them but do that give them a give them a clean up and then give them a polish so give the give the lips a polish and decide what colour to do the faces, but see uh, see what it'd be like. But yeah, there's a blasting cabinet, so that should do a job quite nicely. May take a while, but I've just connected both compressors up on the uh, from the machine shop and the workshop at work, obviously, because I don't have the luxuries of all this at home but yeah get the uh let's get some wheels out and throw them in the blasting cabinet uh, actually let's take the valves off first that's probably a sensible idea isn't it pretty simple we'll leave the uh like the the loose is that one loose no that's not loose of course you won't. Let's get a spanner for that. What spanner are we going to be? What have we got? We got right. It's going to be a 13 knit, which I'm not going to have, or a 14. I haven't got that either. Will a 15 fit? Oh no, definitely not. Definitely not. 12. Oh, it is. I shouldn't say it's a 13. I know it's Japanese, and 13 is an unlucky number. So it's always a 12 or a 14. Should never doubt my Japanese knowledge. Come on. Drop them down there. How is that even sealing? Okay. Get that out. That's better. It's not to trap my gloves because I don't fancy. I uh, don't fancy that. Got that beautiful. Need to put, put a new uh, new sheet on that, really, so I can actually see what we're doing. But you can't really see a thing. Turn it on; it's quite loud. Just about see it. So let's give them a blast. So one's all blasted. I've not gone mental with it. Let's pull that out actually, because you can't see anything in here. Ugh. The seat, we'll go on the seat. Let's put our lid down so it doesn't fall on other like, what's making banging noises? The one's all done and blasted. You can see with the, uh, see how little it's touched, damaged the lips. It's still really, Smooth, obviously, if you, a lot of like, you give you Wilson blasters and they pit them to hell, and then it's really hard to get them back. It's a lot of work. Whereas this, because the because uh, of the material, because of the lime glass and walnut shell, it just gets the gets the material off. It takes a bit longer, but it doesn't damage any of the surface. So I've not gone bad with mad with the centers trying to get everything out of all the nooks and crannies because all of that stuff is proper on there so once I put primer over the top of it and paint it anyway you'll never see any of that so I mean, if I really want to I can go back over it but yeah I might do a little little bit more another another five ten minutes or something and that will probably be a uh, half decent but it's brought those threads up quite nicely they're like brand new now that's nice so and I also gave the uh, 
Then we're quick going over. And I've done the inside, pulled the sticker off, it's basically fallen off anyway. So I can mask up, give the uh, give that a polish, or I might even just give it a scotch bright actually, give it a sort of a brush finish. It hasn't, hasn't got to be beautiful on the inside of the lip, just got to look presentable. Paint that the same colour as the face, raise there. Then, yeah, should be good to go. The lips aren't too bad, this is probably the worst lip out of the two. Uh, where is it? There's a little nick there. Might try and get ball peen hammer or something along those lines, aluminium hammer, just to do that. And I might take that off of a finger sander, maybe just finger sand that back flat, and then put a bit of polish that up. But the rest of the lips are quite good. Little nick there. I'm not going for something that's got me amazing. I'm not a wheel refurber, but we can give it a a quick a quick clean and get it to as good as we can. So I might give. The other one a go. Roughly, let's take this over there. It's still got all the. I've not blown it off an airline yet, so it's still got loads of material on it. But that's before and after, which is quite a difference. Luckily, they weren't too bad in the first place, so might just yeah, might try and give those edges going over. I mean, they, they feel all right to be honest. Roughly, the more time I spend on them, the nicer they're going to look. So I'll give them a. Another quick going over, but hopefully look at the uh, all the old rubber that's stuck on the beads. Much nicer. Might give the uh, inside scotch bright up as well. Make it a bit more uniform. But yeah, I might do that one this evening. I've got a bit more time to spare, so and then and then do some polishing and then some masking and decide what colour I want to go. So I'll just do a, a pair for these. I've only got a pair anyway, so. I've got a set of Almex coming over from Japan, and they look reasonably similar, so they should. Uh, I can use those two pairs together, and you won't. It won't look completely out of place, but yeah, it looks good. So I've just taken the uh, had my hammer on it, wherever my hammer's gone, somewhere. This is on the back. They had some on the back as well, so I've just hammered them out and then finger sand them, sort of as good as I could get them to take any high spots off, so it feels nice. Same on the front, where's the most damaged bit? That was here. Unless I uh, put a bit of weld on there and then grind that back, it's not gonna be perfect. Oh, it looks like a face, look at that. Yeah, whack that out of hammer, ground that as flat as I probably would with a finger sander. And the same on other areas, a bit there. I shall put that back in the blaster now, see if I can take that back and then polish that up. Or I might even, scot I gave it a quick scotch bright on the lips. It looked quite nice, so I might leave it like that. So I've just gone back over the lips. Uh, where was the mark? I can't tell, there it is. That's where it was. So I ended up having to take it back. You could see all the scratch marks where I took it off the finger sander. So I had to get it back with some wet and dry, which up there. And then from the wet and dry, I used this little abrasive pad doohickey, which then polished that up slightly, and then went around the whole edge just to make it uniform. But never really know. It's pretty good as it as it goes. It's a bit a little bit annoying for I want to be really anal, but I'm not going to get much better that than that myself with some hand tools. I mean, I could weld it up with the welder. And then grind it all back, but I might do, see how I'm feeling. I'm not going mad with these anyway, so. I quite like the, I've uh, scotch brighted the lips up. Actually, this one's straight out of blasting, but I did scotch bright the lips up. They, they scotch up quite nicely. A bit more. I should probably put this on the tire machine, really, and uh, hold it still. But that's just a little bit of, compared to the flat, flat blasting. I quite, quite nice. I quite like brush, fin brush finish, so I might even leave them because polishing them will be a pain. And I haven't got the patience for polishing, so I might just leave them as they are. I could put a coat of lacquer on them. It'll bring them up a bit. Might give that a go. Yeah, I'll mask, mask the lips up, paint the centers, give them a few coats. Take the masking tape off and then lacquer the whole lot 
in one go. And I think they look quite nice. Yeah. Right, I think I've heard enough for the night. I'm going to go home. I've got another one to do, but that's enough. I'm going to go home and do nothing. So, there you go. All the fun. So I've just given it a quick clean off. Looks so much better now I've cleaned it off. Might not get it quite in the photos, but... Or video. But looking so much better. What do I spend on this? An hour, maybe? I think I'll definitely lack of a little. If, well, I've got brake clean, that'll give you a idea of what they'll look like with a bit of lacquer on them. They really fucking pop. Well, as much as fl flat lips pop, pop that is, but give that a go. A bit different. If I get bored, I can just blast it all again and get it back to what it was. And then just polish them up. I could give a go of polishing before, maybe. I'll see how much patience I have. Probably not a lot. But, yeah, should look good.